an old lesson that confronts me over and over, and I see this with some of my friends who I work with, is when you are when you're getting into a trade, you're getting into an investment. I think this could be in the, any endeavor. As always, trading relates to most aspects of life. It um, think about getting into something and knowing that there's a probably a good chance it could go down to a certain price. So say you buy it at 50, okay? And let's say that you're wrong at 40, but there's a really good chance it could go down to like 42 or 43. So you're wrong at 40, you bought it at 50, right? You think it's going to go to 100. This is just a generic example. So let's say you put a 30% chance on that it might go down to 42 or 43. Well, if you position yourself right, you can be fine in that example. So let's take person A and person B. Person A says, well, I hope it goes down to 42 or 43 so I can buy more because I love the idea. And person A also knows that they can handle volatility and they have a plan for that and they're more of a risk seeker and it's not going to bother them one bit. So great. They buy half their position at 50 and they buy half more when it goes down to 42 and it goes down to like maybe 40 or 39 and a half and they're able to hold on and they ride it back up and the trade works and they feel fine about what happened. Person B has the same conviction in the trade, but is very risk averse and doesn't want to miss the move because they're excited from talking to person A and they believe the same things. And that thing, that sucker is going to 100 and they don't want to miss it. Can't miss that thing. So they buy it at 50, but they get in pretty heavy. And it maybe comes down to 46, 47, and they buy some more. Well, when that thing goes down to 41 or 42, 43, you know what they're doing? They're getting out of that stuff or they're getting, and I've done this time and time again, they get out of half of it or they get a lot smaller because they cannot think that it might go to 39 when they're long from mostly 30, 48 at this point, 47. And that is way too big of a loser. Their personality is not suited for the volatility. They're not someone who can handle risk, but they're positioned like their trader number A where they can handle anything. Not only are they positioned like him, they're positioned way bigger because he bought half his position at 50 and half of it at 42, knowing that it could get down there. So same idea, same outlook, but not taking into account your personality and what you can potentially expect with a reasonable probability to happen. So if there's a reasonable chance that could go down there and you know that you're the person who's going to panic and you can't handle that loss, you're doomed from the start. Because even if it works out, you're just going to be more emboldened next time and do the same thing. And eventually, time five, time six, you're going to get completely run over doing that because the lesson's going to come. So you save yourself a lot of time and energy by just knowing ahead of time how you are and positioning yourself accordingly and flushing the greed down the tubes that makes you want to buy everything at that, at that price. Assuming your analysis says it could swing down. I mean, you could have different analysis that is a different example that it should go up right away well, then, then you're wrong right away too. So it's a different trade, right? But if you think about this example, the point of it is know yourself and don't put yourself in a position to be tested if you know you're going to fail the test.